Sources are telling 13 Action News there are reportedly major problems at a Valley High School, which is now tied to a sex abuse investigation involving one of its teachers. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live at West Career Technical Academy. That's near Charleston and the 215 with more on what's happening there tonight. Joe. Yeah, Steve, sources at the school are telling Contact 13 that some of the staff here apparently not pleased with the principal, essentially saying she hasn't been addressing some of the key issues head on, like the arrest of Renee Ryan for sexual misconduct. And now two students in big trouble for making terror threats. What's going on at West Career Technical Academy? That's what some staff would like to know in the wake of the arrest of Renee Ryan, who is now in big trouble for what police are calling inappropriate contact with a 17-year-old male student during the 2015-2016 school year. Ms. Ryan is currently on administrative leave from CCSD pending the outcome of her criminal case. Ms. Ryan was taken into custody at her residence and booked into Clark County Detention Center. Police say Ryan sent sexual pictures and text messages to a student. When word got around campus, students alerted school staff. Parents not surprised by the misconduct allegations. It's not like a one incident in one place. As long as we are open to it and explore it and talk about it, I think we're going to stop it soon. But sources tell Contact 13 a series of troubles at the school have popped up. Last week, two students were allegedly involved in making terroristic threats against the school and staff. According to a note home to parents sent just today, police arrested both students. Sources also say last week a student was arrested for drug sales and others were suspended for drug use. Sources also add the principal kept the drug issues and the threats to teachers quiet for fear it might get out into the media. As for the most recent trouble, the Clark County School District Police say they were able to substantiate claims against Ryan, and she's now facing several charges, including attempted kidnapping, sexual misconduct, and lewdness with a minor. Tonight, Ryan is uh, locked up in the Clark County uh, Detention Center as she is still an employee with the Clark County School District, but we're told that her status will be assigned to home once she is released from uh, jail here. And this is the fifth school district staff member to be arrested for sexual misconduct just this school year. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.